The San Antonio Spurs, probably the best franchise and longest lasting dynasty in NBA history. This huge success is due to their amazing ability to find skilled players late in the draft and progress them into stars. They selected Tony Parker with the 28th pick and Manu Ginobili with the 57th pick, two future Hall of Famers. With Kawhi Leonard gone, expect someone in the organization to step up and be the future of the franchise. Let's take a look at how DeJounte Murray can be that man and have a bright future in the NBA. What's up YouTube, it's your boy SD back with another video and let's get into it. This offseason, the San Antonio Spurs let Tony Parker leave to Charlotte and were not concerned at all. This is because they have a young point guard on their team who is currently better than Tony and has the potential to be special. That point guard's name is DeJounte Murray. He will be the starter in San Antonio this upcoming season and that will mean great things for the franchise and him. With his playstyle and build, he has the potential to be like Walt Frazier. Frazier was a 6'4 point guard who averaged 18.9 points per game, 5.9 rebounds per game, and 6.1 assists per game. Frazier was known for his quick hands and is referred to as one of the best defenders in NBA history. Murray is similarly built, being 6'5", a good rebounder, and like Frazier, a great defender already in his career. His biggest issues are scoring and playmaking, but since he is 21, it will for sure improve. You can already tell he's improving his game as a whole, as his points, rebounds, and assists per game more than doubled since his rookie season. After All-Star break, he started turning into a solid starting point guard. This is apparent because if you take a look at his stats, there's huge increases. Before All-Star break, he was averaging 7.1 points per game, 5.3 rebounds per game, and 2.8 assists per game. After All-Star break, he was averaging 10.5 points per game, 6.7 rebounds per game, and 3.1 assists per game. This shows he took a big jump after the break and he was rewarded with a starting point guard job. Now you may be thinking though, other than rebounding, his stats really aren't that amazing. The thing about San Antonio Spurs young prospects is that they take time to develop. In Kawhi Leonard's second season, he was averaging 11.9 points per game, 6 rebounds per game, and 1.6 assists per game. Those stats are nothing eye-popping. To be honest, they're very close to Murray's stats after All-Star break. Fast forward to Kawhi's fifth season, he's a 20 point per game scorer in the MVP race. The San Antonio Spurs are famous for this as they give their young prospects time to develop into stars in the league. With DeRozan and Aldridge on his team, he'll be able to have time instead of being thrown straight into the fire like many other young prospects. His worth ethic is amazing, even catching the eyes of LeBron James. He has been working all summer and does not believe anything is impossible. With his commitment to the gym, he will be able to get a shot better and put more weight on, the two biggest things holding him back. Many of his former teammates and current teammates such as Kyle Anderson and Dave Burns are quoted saying great things about his ethic. On top of that, Greg Popovich is a perfect match for his worth ethic as he can progress him into an all-star level player. The two things that separate Murray from the rest of the point guards in the league is his ability to rebound and play defense. He has a defensive box plus minus at 3.4 which is amazing. He can be an elite lockdown defender just like Kawhi Leonard. He is 6'5", meaning he's taller than most point guards he matches up against, so he can lock them up easily. Along with guarding points, his height allows him to guard shooting guards, so he can take the opposing team's best guard nightly. He also has quick hands, which led him to gain 1.4 steals per game last year. With more minutes this upcoming season, that number should go up. He is also an elite rebounder, grabbing 5.7 rebounds per game last year. That is not much, but once you consider he is a guard and that he only played 21.5 minutes per game, that is impressive. His per 36 minutes per game average for rebounds was 9.5 a game. That's more than LeBron James did last year. With his defense and rebounding already being elite, he will be amazing once the rest of his game catches up. Keep an eye on DeJounte this upcoming season. With Kawhi Leonard gone and an open opportunity to be the future for the Spurs, expect DeJounte Murray to take over during the next few years. He will make a ton of progress over the next 5 seasons and by the prime of his career he will be an all-star point guard while being on the all-defensive first team. Expect great things about Murray moving forward. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like the video, subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications for when I post and check out my last video. I'm out.